girl Kia Shanice with Studio 1221. Today we're just going to be making a um, flyer in Canva. So as you can see the first thing I'm doing is I'm recreating the flyer that I already made um, but I am bringing the file in on one document and then I'm going to create the new one on the second. So the first thing I did was I changed the background to black. I'm uploading all of my images um, needed for the flyer and I'm just resizing it and um, cropping it to the perfect um, size and position that I need. Um, and then I am lowering the opacity so that you can see the um, black background through it basically or so it's, it becomes faded. Um, so you're not going to be seeing me, well hearing me talk through the entire video. Um, but I will come back when certain things need to be explained that I am doing. But some of this stuff is repetitious. So um, I'm just going to let you watch me do it. Um, but I'm doing everything with the free version of Canva. So this is something that you can do with the free version. You don't necessarily need the pro paid version um, to complete a flyer like this. Um, a few of the uh, elements that I'm going to be using that you will see later in the video um, I got from Canva and they are the free ones so that's a good thing you can you can create a whole lot with Canva um, when I want to make fast designs I usually uh, use canva if not i use affinity designer i do have some videos coming for you guys um with some designs in affinity designer as well on the ipad and like i said this was all created off of my ipad so <laughs> if you have an ipad you don't have to have an apple pencil but i have an apple pencil so but as you see here i'm going to the elements tab and i'm typing in ripped paper um, basically to see if I can find, uh, the ripped paper element that I want to use. Um, I didn't find the exact one I wanted to use. Um, well, I did, but it was one that needed to be paid for. So I uploaded my own. Um, also you can see that Canva does offer frames and what frames are is basically, you can um like these particular like letters and numbers you just drag the photo into it and it snaps right into place um like a frame so um those are really good as well and they do come in handy um, so I'm just going through, kind of looking through to see what I can find. And then I just decided to use the one that I had myself. So, yeah. But continue to watch and I will come back when something else needs to be explained. basically just taking the ripped paper and positioning it how I want it to be and then I am getting the photos that I want to be used as um, the pictures in this little photo strip I kind of created um, so as you can see I'm just resizing the pictures and positioning it to how I want it to be um, it did not I wouldn't say it didn't come out right um, it did come out right it's just um, in Canva I, with this particular picture I couldn't resize it um, ex 
exactly how I wanted it to be because um, if you look at it um, on the sides, you can kind of see the picture um, on top of the, the paper effect on the side. And that was something that I didn't want, but I couldn't exactly erase just that small part of the picture. Um, so I just had to make it work. But this could have been avoided if I had just used the ripped paper frame that um, was inside of Canva to begin with. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> so I guess I wanted to make things a little more difficult for myself. But um, I wanted to use multiple pictures so that particular frame wouldn't have worked exactly how I wanted it to. I would have had to do um, a few more steps. So I found all three of the pictures and I positioned them to how I wanted them to be in this photo strip to the best of my abilities. Um, and yeah, so the next thing that I'm going to do is get the uh, social media logos. Um, like I said, you have free ones in Canva and that's what I decided to get. So I got the Instagram and um, you'll see that I got the TikTok as well. And I'm changing the colors to match the colors that I have on the original um, flyer. Um, also, another thing that Canva has just started to do is they have, um, like if you upload a picture, like how I uploaded the flyer at the top, it extracts the colors. It, it takes certain colors from that particular picture and creates like a uh, color palette on it, um, which definitely comes in handy if you do not know the hex codes that go along with the the specific color that you want to use but I got the right color that I wanted so now I'm going to type in my actual um, Instagram tag um, so being that I'm not using the pro version um, I'm not uploading a font to um, because I used a special font that um, I have from a different site. If you if you want to see how to upload fonts to um, Canva, definitely let me know in the comments, um, and I will make a video on how to do that. Um, but I'm using just one of the free basic fonts that Canva offers that looks closely um, similar to the font that I used. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this name of the font <laughs> and I'm definitely not going to chop it up for you um, so but yeah this is the font that I chose and I'm just you know, positioning the name with the logo at the bottom and um, I'll make the TikTok one next as well so just keep watching um, you can also follow along. It's very easy to just follow along with this video um, and create your own um, version. But here you see I got the TikTok one um, as well. And with the TikTok one, you actually can have multiple colors. Um, but I just chose to do the solid pink color that I used originally. But trust and believe, I did think about using the um, I did think about using the two colors and making it like a gradient but I just stuck with what I had in the previous um, but yeah hopefully you guys love this video I'm definitely going to be making more content for you guys um, especially with designing um, one that I love to utilize on my iPad for my designing is Affinity Designer. So a lot of my videos um, will definitely show you 
um, how to do some designs in there as well. Um, that is an app that you have to pay for on the iPad. Um, you can get it on the iPad or you can get it on your um, MacBook if you have a MacBook um, or iMac. Um, but it is a app that you have to pay for, but it's not like um, Adobe. So you're not paying for it once a month um, or annually. You're just paying that one time fee and um, I believe it's $20. Um, but once you, you purchase that, you own it. So it's just on your iPad and whenever it needs to update, you can update it. So as you can see, um, I've added the word photography and, and I went back to the elements tab and I got the line. Um, it's just your basic line and I am trying to resize it. Um, but one thing when you do it in Canva, um, with the line it does kind of move um, so I'm also trying to make sure that the line is straight um, as well um, you can also adjust the thickness of your line too um, like if, if you wanted it more thicker than what it is you could have done that as well so I'm putting I, all I did was duplicate the word photography and I'm changing that to the design um it just makes things quicker a little bit <laughs> um you definitely don't have to do that you can start fresh in the text tab and you know add more text like i just did here um but now i'm going to create well recreate my logo um as i mentioned before the font that I originally used is not in Canva because of it being a custom font. So I would need to upgrade to the paid version to be able to utilize that font. So I'm getting one that is close to it and I decided to use Anton um, because it's bold, it's thick. Um, so it kind of allows me to get the effect that I need. So right now I'm just basically repositioning the um, the words and everything so that everything is uh, symmetrical and stuff and in the right placement. So just keep watching and um, I will come back But I also put the word 12, um, and I had to use another um, different font that was originally used in the original logo because it is a cu custom font. Um, but that's okay because I feel like, you know, this version did come out um, great as well. It wasn't exactly how my original flyer is, but it got the job done so if you need to make any you know really quick designs um and you want them to have that professional look you definitely can use canva because it's gonna be like your best friend especially if you don't want to spend money on um the app that i mentioned to you affinity um if you don't want to spend that twenty dollars for that app, you definitely can just download Canva um, and use the, the free version, or you can upgrade to the paid version. Um, the paid version, I believe, is around twelve dollars a month, so it is something that you have to pay for monthly. But um, I would say it's worth it as well. So here I'm just going through. Uh, different fonts to try to find one that looks more similar to my original font that I used for the 12. Um, it's really just a script type font um, because I like that effect with having the basic, uh, the, the basic thick font, bold font for studio, and then I wanted to use a nice uh, script font 
for signature style font for the 12. Um, and I wanted to use kind of like a brush effect with the 21. Um, simply because Studio 1221 is an artistic type of um, brand, type of company. Um, because we have the photography, we have the design. So I wanted to use like a brush style font um, to give off the art effect. Um, so yeah, but just keep watching and if you're following along, keep following along. So we basically are done now. Um, these are the fonts that I chose to use. If you like this video, put in the comments, hit that like button and that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.